with a automatic swap GT500 2012 for two Kenny Bell, I believe. 5.8 liter built L&M engine cams. And this is a 6R80, not a 4R200. They, uh, well, it's still a 6R80, but it has a all six speeds basically uh, active. <laughs> uh, it's got a billet front planetary in it because the gentleman I don't think is about that racing life. He's all about that cruising life. Listen to this guy. Oh, I'm gonna die. So. <laughs> This will be interesting because I want to see what a big blower 5.8 liter automatic Mustang makes as compared to my small blower high revving Coyote motor. So we're going to see what this guy makes. Um, it, I believe, made over 1,200 when it was a manual. Now it is an automatic. So I suspect it'll be right at around the 1,000 horsepower mark or high 900s. So he's going to make a full hit, Junior sent him a revised tune. So he said he's going to go to about 6,500 RPM. He could probably go 7, but I think he's going to go to 65 and see what Junior says about what kind of power it's making. sounding pull, clean sounding car. Did you make anything decent, Beecho? 812, that sounds like uh, TVS on low boost numbers. Yes, I would agree with that. <laughs> Sorry, Rick, if you're watching this badass car, but need some, <laughs> need some power. You don't want my car on this. No, because if it makes like nine something, the internet will be like, well, Coyote versus GT500 guys will be selling their shit immediately. GT500 is becoming the most irrelevant car to the internet people. You know yeah. It's such a shame. They're such a good car, but whatever. <laughs> I know you're you're sad right now. <laughs> you know what? Wait, let me see. Let me show people why you're sad. Is it this one? No. No, it's, <laughs> no, it's this one. What? <laughs> <laughs> so it made like 800, and we had totally forgotten about an important thing. Or I had totally forgotten about this. That this car has adjustable boost. Is this a turbo? So it was on number four. Now we put it on five, which means kill mode. So it should make another 20, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it has an AMS 2000. So it was potentially bleeding off boost. Um, I don't know if it was 100 horsepower worth of boost, but now this guy should be fully shut. As before, it was open and bleeding off some boost. So now he's going to make another hit, pull it to 72, 300, 70, 75 or whatever. Because it's a fully built deal, and the goal is a thousand or so. Well, you need. What are you doing? I don't know, this thing blows around and shoots out. And we know we got something going on. Oh, okay. So it should not come out. It should not. Come out. Okay. Meaning, if air comes out of there, it's bleeding off boost. That's a nice setup there. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see if this guy makes any more power with the AMS on number five. And uh, the goal is somewhere in the thousand range, and uh, that'll be more than enough horsepower for this gentleman. Okay, here we go. Let's see if that paper flies off. I'll take it from the back so we can hear it. It's so quiet in gear. <laughs> Let me back up. <laughs>
shit. Paper flu? Oh, so it's bleeding off boost. Okay. Oh yeah, went flying. It's definitely, it's definitely bleeding off boost. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see shit. That's cool. It lost 12 horse. Oh okay. It picked That's... up like 20 horse. So a lot. So yeah, this. Cool story. This went flying. There you go. We got to fix that issue that it's bleeding off boost big time somewhere. Give us an update. Why is this car only making 800 horsepower? I guess the boost controller was off, so the car was making the minimum boost it could make. So I guess that's impressive for the given circumstances. <laughs> now we'll see what happens. Now it's on. Now you'll get all the boost. Okay. If it's on number five, it's all the boost. It made low 11, 1200 through manual last time. <laughs> You're just over it. <laughs> Too many things going on, right? Just give me all the beans. But think about it. Adjustable boost on a blower car? What do you mean it makes no sense? I don't want a thousand on the street when I, it's just going to be useless. It's going to be blow the tires off. You don't want to be blown off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so basically... Um, the switch was off the whole time with the boost controller. So if if on the lowest boost it can make is 800, that's pretty impressive. So now the boost controller is on, and it's on number five. And we'll see if it makes over a thousand. If this if that boost controller can bleed off 200 rear wheel horsepower, fuck, I mean that's unbelievable. And it's an AMS 2000. You can ramp it in based on mile an hour, based on the internal. Uh... God damn it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you should have given me a heads up. I'm, I'm in the middle of explaining something and then just go, why? <laughs> what happened? Jesus Christ, I don't know, every single fucking... Everything lit up? Lit up. <laughs> it sounded nasty. 1028, 947. <laughs> it bled off 300 horsepower or whatever, like 830. <laughs> Holy what shit. fucking beauty. Let me see that, let me see that wow. graph because make sure the log turn, wow, turned off. like five beans and I was like, what the fuck just happened? Oh my hey. God, look at that. So I don't know what's happening yeah, here, but that's boost Ooh. controller off. Boost, co boost controller on, giving it all the shit. Oh my god. Fuck. It looked impressive. I thought the tires were gonna rip apart of the thing. <laughs> That's badass. So 1030 with the boost controller on through an automatic, uh, you know, not bleeding off all the boost. So minimum boost, it'll make 800. <laughs> with the boost controller at full beans, it'll make over a thousand through an auto. Badass shit. Okay, superstar. Uh, tell the people what's what's happened so far, so they're well versed. All right, so we started out with about 800 horses, and found out that the AMS was not on. It was on level five, but it's not actually on, so it's just bleeding off boost. So we got that to work, hooked up, made 1,038, and now I have R9, which is a little revision on fuel, maybe some timing. So I'm gonna say it'll probably make around. 1050. 1050. Ish. Be ready to send. Sweet. So, thank you. All right. <laughs> so we're ready. <clears throat> Get the fan going on this guy. Whoa. This fan kicks ass. All right. So, like he said, he made a revision to it. Um, I'm gonna try to stay here. Try to get a better angle because the glare is being an asshole. This thing. Look at this. Man. Get over here. There we go. There's something 
about a blower car that impresses me more than a turbo car. I get it, turbo cars make more power ultimately, but I don't know, this is cool. Some people literally look for the loud blower and they don't get much louder than a Kenny Bell or like a, a loud Vortec or something. just like we thought it would running just minty dude like clean pull no weird smoke no nothing just boom hanging out yeah l and m 58 uh kenny bell blower kenny bell 168 e85 from the pump no c85 bs 83 yeah and then give me five cold air so running good would you put an auto in a shelby if it was like this would you own this car yes as a man but no, the 6R80 is great. It's, it drives like a normal car and you can kick some ass with it because nobody can drive manual in one of these. I don't care what you say, internet. You guys are a bunch of non driving Shelby <laughs> 5500. So you do need the auto, but. I'm like banging gears. But it's sick. <laughs> <laughs>